Welcome on to this edition of Run with Coach Perry. My name is Brad Brown. We've got Lindsay Perry with us once again. Lindsay, how's it? Yeah, it's always good, Brad. Always very good to talk to you in particular. Lindsay, we've got a great question today. And I used to have a job years ago uh, where I was on my feet constantly. Uh, and that's what it's about today. Asking if you have a job where you are standing up uh, most of the day, how does that impact your training? Do you need to change anything? Uh, I think it's a fantastic question. Before we get into that, though, don't forget to let us know uh, what your Biogen journey is, okay? We're giving away access to the Coach Perry online training platform. We've teamed up with Biogen, and we want to help you get to where you're going. We've been following Hobbo, uh, who is in unbelievable nick. Lindsay, I saw a photo of Hobbo this morning. Uh, he's lost crazy amounts of weight already he's looking amazing and he's still so far out from race day yeah look it really is unbelievable he's uh 12 kgs down um yeah it's it's it it really normally if you make one change you can see quite positive um changes in a short period of time but you know he he is in the fortunate position of being surrounded by all the professionals he needs he's getting the right nutrition advice exercise advice uh, he's got a team of people around him that are keeping him motivated and going. Uh, but even with all of that, 12 kgs is really amazing, and he is well on his way to completely changing his life. Yeah, phenomenal. If you want to check out Hobbo's story, get over to coachparry.com, but we want to help you as well with the help of Biogen. Just hop onto social media, whatever platform it is, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let us know what you want to achieve, what your Biogen journey is, uh, and we could help you get there. So all you need to do is use that hashtag, Biogen Journey. We'll select one winner every week. Uh, they'll win three months access to the Coach Perry online training program. Uh, and then uh, listen out to the podcast where we announce the winner. Lindsay, today's question is about, like I said at the, the start of this video, is from someone in the forums who's a cricket coach. Uh, and they literally work with, with kids and adults all day long coaching cricket. So they're standing all day. Uh, and then they have to run and, and do their training. And they want to know if it impacts, if they need to adjust their training uh, in any way. And before we lose all our American audience, uh, they don't coach crickets as in the insects. It's a sport. It's like baseball. Uh, <laughs> just to, to, to un-South African and, and, and english uh, our video. Uh, wh what's the deal? I mean, someone, where, I mean, it's not necessarily just a sport coach. You could be uh, a server in a restaurant. You could uh, sort of just be up on your feet all day. H how do you adjust things from a training perspective? Yeah, so look, there's definitely going to be a compromise to recovery. That is an, an unfortunate uh, reality of being on your feet and working on your feet all day. Um, but there are also other advantages, particularly if you are somebody who's training for ultra marathon. So in that kind of space where you're training for marathon and ultra marathon, for a lot of people, ultra marathon is, a, is basically an all day exercise. And one of the things that many of us battle with in, in ultra marathons is how sore our legs get after we've been running for five, six hours. And if you are accustomed to being on your feet all day, you don't tend to get that same kind of pain. So how would I adjust? Well, the, the very first and important thing for me is that you want to do your training before. So the, the people who are on their feet most of the day, I feel like it's really important to get your training done when your legs are going to be at their freshest, which is going to be at the start of the day. So um, these will be morning type of, of training people. And then I would cut slightly on the mileage. Now that's gonna that's a difficult one for me to say, okay, you must take off 10% or 15%. You've, you've kind of got to feel that um, as you go along, but there will be a slight compromise on the, on the mileage, especially uh, on the days that you are on your feet. Hopefully you're not standing all day, every day for seven days a week. Um, hopefully it's four or five days a week and it does leave you a day where you can really recover and get off your feet and then it leaves you another day where you can get in a really nice good long training run and then not have to worry about standing um, all day. But those are the kind of things that I would look at um, and use and uh, the, the compromise of just slightly reducing your overall or volume and the win from being used to being on your legs all day may end up being a, an, an advantage. Um, of course, if you, the more serious you are about running um, and the more mileage you kind of need to do to achieve your goals, probably, uh, the, the, probably the more compromised you will ultimately be. Um, but if you're a mid to a back of the pack in particular, uh, then I think with those couple of small changes, uh, training in the morning, 
slightly reduced kilometers, you'll probably end up, in particular for ultras, being in a pretty good space. Yeah, it, it makes me laugh you say that, Lindsay, because I think every time we go to like an expo for, for uh, uh, an oceans or, or for comrades uh, and you look at the guys, there's quite a few of the exhibitors who end up running on race day. So they do the three days before at the expo where they're standing and you speak to all of them and they just see it as a multi-day stage race. They're like, you know what, time on the legs, that's all it is. Uh, so yeah, you just got to manage it. But uh, great question and we are getting some amazing uh, questions in our forums on coachparry.com. Uh, if you're not part of uh, the online training platform, you are seriously missing out. We are building an incredible community of runners, cyclists, triathletes uh, who are just getting unbelievable results. So go check it out if you'd like to be part of it. Uh, coachperry.com forward slash join is the URL. You can get access to the entire library of training programs. You get access to Lindsay and the rest of our coaches as well through the forums. And you get to be connected to one of the most incredible uh, communities of athletes, like-minded people on the planet coachparry.com forward slash join. That's where you can get all the details. Lindsay, until next time, you have yourself a good one. We'll chat next week. Thanks a lot, Brad. Can't wait.